Oh my fucking god, time for a new vlog. How the fuck are we doing today, guys? I'm doing sexy and awesome. Thanks for always asking. <laughs> ah, such good memories about RuneScape is just, well, kind of going through my mind. All the wonderful shit that happened on RuneScape through 2001 till about, let's say, 2010... Well, actually, 2011, that's really when Jagex kind of went on steroids a little bit and kind of, you know, started overloading of shit. But anyways, alright, so yesterday, I uploaded two wonderful videos on my main channel. One was about the party demon in Barbarian Village. The other was pretty much my Bungus PKing video number one. Now, Bungus goes PKing and fucks some shit up in the wild. <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, my little Bungus. So, those videos are my main channel, but, um, right now, vlogging kind of late, uh, just got on the computer. Uh, tonight, probably going to do a few floors of Dungeoneering. Haven't really been Dungeoneering that much, like I said, just been really busy in general, which, uh, kind of fucking really sucks, but, uh, that's really life for you. <laughs> um, otherwise, yeah, that's basically pretty much about it. New RuneScape video, uh, tomorrow, and, uh... Yeah, uh, that's really pretty much about updates and uh, moving along now. So anyways, there's actually this viral video floating around on the RuneScape community, or let alone YouTube in general. It's basically um, about appealing the way RuneScape is going to look and pretty much make RuneScape kind of look like 2006, which in my opinion, I'd say 2008 was really the prime look of RuneScape. Like, if you watch my RuneScape videos in 2008, or you go to my main YouTube channel, if you search RuneScape videos that were just go to the fucking, you know, oldest videos, and look how RuneScape looked back in 2008, even 2009 was good. RuneScape, it, it, it was really, I mean, it's just, it looked so much better, it didn't have all these you know, retarded fucking spins of room coins and double spin tickets and shit like that. You really didn't have any of that bullshit. But, you know, times have changed. So anyways, I don't normally really vlog about kind of, you know, videos in general. Let alone, I don't really vlog ever about doing... Well, I always vlog about rants. I always make rants my own. But I really never kind of vlog about other people's appeals to RuneScape. But actually, this one video, I'll put a link down in the bung bar, has actually gotten a lot of publicity in the past uh, uh, couple days. Um, and pretty much, it's basically, you know, this one individual wants to appeal the way RuneScape looks and make it kind of look like it used to look, before all the shitty little fucking add-ons and shit like that. Um, do I agree, uh, do I agree with it? I do. Do I think it will happen? Fuck no. Sadly, it will never happen, my friends, and the reason why is because it's not going to happen because it will make Jagex lose money. That's the reason why. Alright? It makes, like, this is the, this is the part that you guys really have to understand, and the majority of you guys understand this, and some of you guys kinda don't, kinda do, the more the RuneScapians are unhappy, the more money Jagex makes. Does that make sense? Because it makes, it makes a lot of fucking sense. The more we are unhappy, the more money Jagex makes. The more the RuneScapians are happy, the less money Jagex makes. I mean, it's, it's, if they removed the shit titty Wheel of Fortune, if they remove going to be removing the combat bait, they remove all this shit back into, like, 2009 layout and fucking gameplay... You keep all your skills, you keep all your weapons, items, you know, your bank, etc., etc. They would be losing a fuck ton of money. They really would be losing a shit-ass ton of money. <laughs> Probably a whole crate field of money. Oh, uh, Fort Knox. Oh, Fort Knox. But you basically, you guys understand what I'm saying, is that it's really all about money now. And, you know, Jagex has become fairly fucking large. And I'm pretty sure that Jagus kind of understands that they are well known now for RuneScape. And if they make another game, it probably won't do so well as RuneScape. Um, which is one of the reasons why probably they're releasing so many goddamn updates is because they're like, hey, we actually have to keep RuneScape going. 
um, vice versa, you know, making no updates and kind of just letting it run its own course. But if RuneScape did run its own course on autopilot, it would actually be fucking good. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it would really, really be good. Um, so anyways, yeah, I mean, Jagius gets a lot of, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I, it's, it's another word for donation. Damn it, it's on the tip of my tongue. Fuck. But anyways, alright, they, they basically, they get a lot of money from other companies outside, you know, sources, basically just to do shit on, on RuneScape. Like, supposedly the whole reason why they added the shit titty wheel of fortune is because... This one United, this one U.S. company paid them a ton of fucking money, and they got a whole bunch of new investors. And the investors kind of said, "Hey, you know, I think adding something like this would be good." And uh, Jagex really didn't have a choice. But that's basically what happens when you bring in other investors into your company. If I owned a fucking company, I would not sell my company. I mean, yeah, you could sell part of your company and still own 51%, and you make all the final decisions. But me, personally, I, I, I really couldn't imagine selling any of my company to fucking other people. It's something you created, something you started, and then you're just going to fucking pick it up and say, Hey, I'm open for the gangbang. <laughs> I can sell my gaping asshole. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's, that's basically pretty much what Jagex is really doing, kind of. Um, and it's really, uh, irritating a lot of people. Uh, oh, well. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you guys would like to watch the video, once again, the link is down in the bung bar. And, uh, the video is just fairly interesting. It really does bring back a lot of old memories to the games. Um, old memories as in, uh, fun fucking memories to the game. Where you actually did, like, a ton of fun shit. But now, my friends... It is Dark Ages. Oh, the storm is rolling in to kick our honeys and make us eat our own weenies. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. Alright, guys, well, like I said, a uh, new RuneScape video on my main channel for tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, that's a fucking damn microphone. Ah, that's uh, basically pretty much about it. But otherwise, right now, I want to go to my email address and we have some happy Hooba Hooba questions from you motherfuckers. As numbers at Yahoo.com and to me, you who's because if you do, then Jagex will appeal your RuneScape skills. And all your RuneScape skills will go back to one, including hit points. Then you'll really be a level one on RuneScape. Then you'll be fucked. Because <laughs> how are you going to train combat? I mean, you're going to die a thousand times! <laughs> oh, you're fucked. Oh. Ah, first, we move a question. Ah, hey, Chris. Oh, my voice just cracked. Oh, boy. I sound like a little 13-year-old again. Hey, Chris, how long do you think Mod Mark's wiener is? Or does he even have one? And would you ever consider touching it? Our username, Nate Slays. Um, uh, then it's, uh, the little, the little heart sign. Um, yes, I love you too, Mr. Nate Slays. Okay. How long do I think Mod's, Mod Mark's wiener is? Or, uh, actually, let's, let's answer this question going from backwards to forward. <laughs> um, that actually sounded really naughty. <laughs> Alright. Would I ever consider touching it? No! <laughs> I would not touch it even with a 50-foot pole. I would not touch it... Let me, I, I don't. Let me, I. I would not even fucking fantasize about touching it. Okay. Let me just put it that way. Do you think he has one? I do think he has one. Reason being is because he is a man. He is a male, and you know he kind of really doesn't look like he's undergoed any sex change operation in the past decade. So therefore, yeah, I think he actually does have a wee wee. Um, how long do I think the mod Mark Wiener is? Um, that's a toughie. You see, the correct answer, or rather, the typical answer that I could really say is, I don't know. But, I actually know the answer to this. Ah, this is the correct answer. If you were to take every single motherfucker on RuneScape, and basically, you know, have them go back to back, Basically, put everyone into a fucking line. 
and stretch them across like the United States, you could probably most likely, I think, maybe make a couple states, considering the fact that there's maybe only a few million people playing. What I'm basically saying is we're making a line of fucking people. That is the size of Mod March Wee Wee. The more people that play this game, the longer it gets. The reason why you never see Mod Mark standing up in the video is because his wiener is out the fucking door. It's out the motherfucking window. It doesn't even fit in the building. <laughs> he has to be moved by a crane. <laughs> All right, enough fucking perverted jokes and stuff like that. All right, so anyways, like I said, uh, make sure you definitely check out this video if you want to be reminded of some wonderful memories back in 2006 of RuneScape. Otherwise, if you got anything from me, you can leave a nasty, dirty little comment, and I'll see you happy motherfuckers tomorrow. Bye!